Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Baz and Intuitive Tarot, and in this reading I'm taking a look at Sagittarius's love life, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus for the week of November 2020. If you're new to this channel, please give it a like and subscribe, and if you feel like you're resonating with the reading and you want to know more about the energy that surrounds your person and what's in your person's environment, I'll also provide the link to the extended pinned at the top of the comments and also down in the description box below where you'll also find info on how to book a personal reading with me. All right, you guys I have a little bit of a um, PSA announcement so if you don't want to hear that just fast forward until you start seeing me pull out these um, green cards okay I have a important announcement all right you guys I was supposed to do your reading yesterday when all of a sudden I got an email from an awesome awesome subscriber initials JK thank you by the way who informed me that she stumbled upon a reading that sounded exactly like the message I made on my Leo reading titled Disease to Please or something like that. I go find the video and I hear me but in a slow motion way. I mean I recognize my voice. I've been using my voice for years, not that many years, but I recognize you know some of the things and quirks that I have and one of them was I heard let's rock this deck on the video. I'm like wait a minute and it was just like this is me. So I start listening to the message and I'm like, that's my Leo reading from last week, what the fudge? Um, and I saw a bunch of comments down below, um, a couple of people saying this video sounds familiar and, and then other people who didn't realize what was going on commenting that they liked the message whatnot. And what scared me the most was under the link of this tarot readings channel was a link to their website where viewers trusting this person's messages are clicking on the link going to their website and possibly either booking readings or uh, using their services and my heart dropped thinking someone was about to get screwed over or taken advantage of because they were trusting the messages that that person was saying not realizing it was attached to another reader so if you guys ever stumble upon a video that the voice sounds a little bit forced or robotic or slowed down or for the ones that have just a screen image with no person talking in the video, no live action person, please do not give them your money or go to any links, okay? Because I just, I got chills just telling you this. So it's not about the money for me. I could care less. I don't care if they get money off of the, uh, of the videos that I pr produce, whatever, I don't care. I just don't want them robbing you guys. Um, and yeah, so I spent the day trying to report that and a lot of you guys who are subscribed to my channel, who saw my notification in the community tab, warning you guys and showing you the link of where to find that channel, you guys went and reported it and that video was taken down. However, the channel is still there and it's all filled with stolen content. Please, please trust your intuition and do not fall into the trap of giving these people your money or clicking on their links and purchasing readings off of them because it's stolen videos, okay? Oh my goodness, so I was not able to do your reading essay, so please. Be very mindful of some of the readings you see on YouTube, all right? Some are stolen and it's yeah it's very it's very um very sad for for the people who are very vulnerable and who trust other people so be careful okay be careful you guys I freaking love you guys and I don't want you guys getting taken advantage of all right let's do this Sagittarius what is the highest message that I can give Sagittarius I'm gonna start off with three second tarot for the heart oracle cards and then I'm gonna jump straight to your tarot what's the highest message for Sagittarius please two more shuffles one and two let's rock this deck only Madison says that <laughs> All right, I see dreams coming true, confront, and moving on. Um, a lot of you Sagittariuses are possibly moving on from a situation that no longer fulfills you after maybe confronting something that someone did or something someone said or just that nudge inside your intuition that told you, move on. You need to confront why you're still attached to this energy, this person, this place, this thing, and move on. Maybe it's something to do with your childhood where you've, 
you attach yourself to people who show you some sort of love and then it no matter what they do to you you still hold on to them because you feel like this this person loves me they love me that's why I'm gonna stick around not realizing that yes they may love you but they're not fulfilling you emotionally, okay? Because if you do that, I see something else coming towards you with the Dreams Coming True card. This is the Nine of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. There's something coming towards you. And I feel like you need to get grounded because the base chakra energy usually signifies that energy of someone needing to be grounded. Even if you stop and go into take a shower right now. Well, obviously don't take a shower right now. Finish my video. <laughs> After this video, go take a shower and just being in the the water with your feet touching the floor with the water just envision yourself and underneath a waterfall or just envision yourself with your feet planted in dirt or whatnot just find ways to feel grounded and stay grounded okay because you've got something coming towards you that's going to be really good but you need to confront something that is holding you back that you need to move on from and the dates um september 18th could mean something to you september 8th september 1st I have August 9th, August 18th, August 1st, or you met someone in in um, the year 2018, alright, or you're, you met someone in August 2018, September 2018, or January of 2018, okay, but something you need to wrap up with that 9 there. So let's begin to your tarot, shall we? Universe, spirits, and guides, what is the overall energy for the amazing Sagittarius? What is the overall energy for their love life this week? What is coming towards them? What is the overall energy? Six of Cups, damn. Someone from your recent past is returning. So for some of you guys who finally moved on from this person or who are deciding to move on, I feel like they're going to make a comeback around with the Six of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This is a soulmate energy because the Six of Cups is my soulmate card. However, if it's not someone from your recent past, it's someone from your past life entering your life this week and this person is near and dear to your heart. You're going to feel a special certain way about this person, like they feel like home, like they feel familiar, like they are family already and you're just going to really feel comfortable with them. There's going to be an offer coming in, an offer that you have to be very patient on or an offer that you've been very patient on. It does look genuine, okay? It does look genuine with that Knight of Pentacles energy. Could be an earth sign, more specifically a Virgo. All right, so that's the overall energy. But seeing the Five of Wands right here, Leo energy, there could have been some conflict between you guys, some quarrels or some drama surrounding other persons maybe, other people. I just said other persons, I know. I'm not editing that out. <laughs> it takes too long to edit videos. Other people around you and your person possibly or competition and things like that but let's see what is the main situation what's coming in for Sagittarius damn a new beginning with the full energy sign of Aquarius but I feel like you have to defend some people off in order to have it with the seven of wands Leo energy I feel like that's attached to possibly the person that you're moving on from and why I just saw the five of wands you might have to be defending yourself towards people who are bringing nothing but drama or conflict or hurting you emotionally and that's the energy you need to move on from and do you see how we see the confront card and the seven of wands it looks like you have to d definitely confront some people or confront your um, childhood or confront something inside you that is keeping you tied and bound to this one energy or this one thing because you've got abundance coming your way with that Nine of Cups energy and the dreams coming true. So who is surrounding Sagittarius this week? Who is this energy that is surrounding Sagittarius this week? Really? They want to come out, but they don't come out. Someone wanting a second chance with a judgment, scorpionic energy. And this person has left you feeling very frustrated with the Five of Swords. I mean, frustrated. This person could have breadcrumbed you. This person could have said, I love you, Sagittarius. And then next minute they go ghost. Or they return and say, I'm going to leave that person. And then they don't. Or they talk to you for a few times and then they disappear. It's just a very on and off frustrating energy. They're making a comeback. They're making a comeback due to that Six of Cups and that Knight of Pentacles, but I'm strongly getting the energy of you needing to move on from this person and confront something. Confront why you may be accepting this person back in or why you continuously accept this person back in, all right? What is going to be Sagittarius's obstacles this week with this person? 
You're going to juggle a decision of closing out some sort of cycle with this person with the two of pentacles in the world. You could be um, connecting to an earth sign or a fixed energy, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. You're going to be dealing with the obstacle of making a decision to completely close out that cycle in order to start a new one with that full energy I just saw. Okay? Some of you guys are needing to move on from this person. And some of you guys just want to confront this person in order to have some closure. All right? But I do see this person returning, and you're going to juggle the, the decision of, should we stay or should we go? Should we stay or should we go? All right? So, what is your advice? And I see the hermit, Virgo energy. This being your advice, Spirit is saying, only you know exactly what you need to do. Only you know exactly what you need to do. I know I sound like a broken record just now, but I felt like I had to emphasize that because you are very intuitive Sagittarius. We are all very intuitive. We all get these little nudges, all these little synchronicities that are speaking to us from our angels or spirit guides. Sometimes we flick it off like we're switching a channel on our radio. No, I don't like that song. Nope, changing it. Because you're, you're attaching yourself to this person who feels like home to you. They feel like your best friend. They possibly are your best friend who turned into something more, but this person is not treating it the way that it needs to be treated. All right? Go deep, in, deep, deep within inside yourself. Go deep within your side. I can't speak today. Someone may be having a blocked throat chakra or having trouble confronting someone and speaking clearly what they want to say to someone out of fear because I'm like stumbling on my words, okay? And I did that yesterday with Gemini for some reason. So if you're connecting to a Gemini, you or that person may be having trouble communicating with each other, all right? But definitely take some time to yourself because I see this as just going deep within your deep within your shell or deep within your, your, your confines of yourself and just think, do I deserve more? Or do I deserve this person? Does this person really fulfill me? Do I feel my best when I'm around this person? And if you feel like the answer is yes, give this person another shot. But if the answer is, no, I've cried more times than I've laughed, um, I always feel frustrated, I always feel uncertainty, I've always, I always feel like I'm not enough with this person, then the answer is no, okay? People who make us feel good and raise our vibration are the people you want in your life. But if someone's bringing you down constantly, no matter how good their intentions really are, because I'm not getting a negative energy off of your person. I'm getting someone who may be confused on what they want, and they're taking you down with them because they're not ready to make a decision. All right? You've got a very beautiful energy, Sagittarius, and you deserve better. So if this person has made you cry more times than laugh, then you know the answer. But if this person is worth fighting for, then you know the answer. I can't tell you. I really can't tell you. But your advice this week is to make a decision and really go deep within during this decision because this is your obstacle, closing out a cycle with someone who wants you back. And your advice is to really listen to yourself. All right, so how is Sagittarius's person going to feel this week towards Sagittarius? How is Sagittarius's person going to feel this week towards Sagittarius, please? Aww. Don't, don't feel bad for them. They did this to themselves, I feel like. But this is a very sad, sad imagery. The Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords. Heavy, heavy air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They're going to feel so restless. They're going to feel so paranoid, so in their head. Sleepless nights, maybe even crying a tear or two. All right, because they're going to feel the, the cut in communication. Or this is how they're feeling this week. I haven't talked to my Sagittarius in a while because I've taken time to myself. I need to go reach out to Sagittarius and make things right, but will they accept me back? I'm scared. All right? But for some of you, you went no contact because you wanted to work on your healing because this person has been frustrating you so much with the Four of Swords. Because the Four of Swords is also that energy of working on your self-love. Maybe you're spending this week getting a haircut. Maybe you're spending this week learning more about spirituality and how to heal yourself. Maybe you're going to the spa. Maybe you're, you're just doing stuff that's for you and you alone that's going to help you move forward because this person has put so much stress in your life and in your heart. So, so this four source could just be you working on yourself. But your person's feelings this week is needing to face their fears because the nine of swords is also that energy of I need to face my fears. Because someone you're dealing with is really scared 
on some sort of decision I feel like. If it's not a decision between two people or it's, if it's not a decision between opening up to love, if this person has a fear of commitment, okay, they're definitely scared about what to do here because they do feel strongly connected to you because I'm definitely getting the energy that you also, along with this person, see each other as a best friend. First and foremost, I'm getting a best friend energy. Even if you guys started dating first and then became best friends, this person's feeling like you are their buddy and they love that connection. Regardless of sex, romance, or anything like that, they like having you in their life, all right? Because this person's offer is genuine, the one that's coming in. But I get that, that energy of this person really putting you through the mill and it's like a repeated cycle. And not because they want to hurt you, because they're scared. All right, so that's how they're gonna be feeling this week. It looks like someone may be taking control with the Emperor Aries energy and stepping up. You could be dealing with someone in the military or who has military background or who is in law enforcement or some sort of leadership position. This person wants to control the situation and lead it to a new beginning with the Ace of Cups, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Can Sagittarius trust this Ace of Cups energy? Can Sagittarius trust this Ace of Cups energy? Can Sagittarius trust this Ace of Cups energy? I have the King of Swords and the Four of Swords, which is telling me that you may be dealing with someone who acts cold and detached at times and possibly even aloof with a very stoic um, external appearance. But deep down, they want a partnership with you with the Four of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. And this is also 11-11, so make a wish. And other readers would also call it the Twin Flame energy. All right. It does look like you can trust this. This person wants to nurture you. And now I have the Emperor and Empress. This could also signify that you guys are a divine masculine and a divine feminine. You guys are soulmate royalty. There's a reason why you feel like this person's your best friend. Because this person could also be a Twin Flame or some sort of... um. Uh, past life energy that you've already lived out some sort of life cycle with and that's why you can't seem to shake this person because it's hard to shake someone that you've already spent another lifetime with. It feels so cool. It's like, really? I've known you in a past life? Damn, I just want to keep you in my life just because of that. But we have hundreds and hundreds of soulmates that we have spent many lifetimes with. Doesn't mean you should stay with them forever if they're hurting you, okay? So... There is an energy of waiting here with the Three of Wands. Your energy, but also Leo and Aries. Um, there is an energy of you waiting for this person, all right? Or this could signify that there is a long-distance relationship for some, or there is an energy of your person acting distant at times. But this is the energy of your ships coming in. However, let's see. The Three of Cups. So I do see you guys reconnecting with the Three of Cups. Could be a Cancerian that you're dealing with. I do see this person returning and asking for a second chance with that Six of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Judgment. However, doesn't mean you have to say yes. You can hang out with this person and reconnect with this person and catch up on old times or things like that. But you don't have to let it go higher than that. You can keep it at a, a friendship level if you feel like this person's still confused. You can still be this person's friend without letting your guard down and being susceptible to more heartache, okay? But I do see you guys reconnecting. I do see you guys getting together, possibly for a night of drinking, judging by that imagery. Stay away from the fireball because you guys are soulmates with the Two of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I already knew you guys were soulmates from the beginning of this reading. I was getting that instantaneous familiar energy that I normally get when I meet a soulmate. It feels like a, it feels like a long lost best friend or someone that you just feel like you're peas in a pod, all right? You guys could have spent a lot of nights having a glass of wine and talking, talking, talking till the sun went down and then went back up, things like that. This person is a near and dear soulmate who wants a new beginning with you with the Ace of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. All right? But there's going to be a, lot, a level of waiting with the Seven of Pentacles. A lot of waiting. I don't ever recommend anyone waiting on anybody. Still live your life. Still do your thing. But there is an energy of this person coming back around after a period of separation. All right? Because you guys do have a strong bond. And I do feel like an unfinished energy here. So I feel like having that Emperor and Empress here, that does signify that I feel like you guys are definitely strong soulmates who may have something that you still need to finish. It doesn't mean you have to be together with this person, okay? Maybe there needs to be some closure with this person or maybe with most Twin Flame energies, there's some sort of big life mission that you guys need to um, 
do it together all right but I'm not gonna speak too much on twin flames because I'm not that type of channel but this is definitely a soulmate connection all right but there is going to be some possible success and growth with this person but seeing how it's showing me it's showing me pentacles this could be a successful growth and a long-lasting friendship soulmates make really good best friends okay but just be careful with your heart okay because I know how you Sagittarius are. You are so passionate. You just want to love. You are, you're like a Leo on speed. You like to love, but you like to love intensely. <laughs> you give them your all. You'll, you'll sell a house to move in with someone just to be closer to them if they live out of state. You'll, you'll push mountains. You will transfer jobs and relocate out of countries to be with someone that you feel so intensely for. Slow and steady. Slow and steady okay hold back a little bit so what's the possible outcome with these two and then I'll clarify a couple more cards with a different deck what's the possible outcome with these two whoa what's the possible outcome with these two you could definitely be dealing with a Leo um that strength card wanted to come back out again be strong let this connection be what makes you stronger Put your uh, put your armor on your your armor to protect your heart. I do see someone taking action with the King of Wands, and remember how I just said I'm picking up on some Sagittarius's who would possibly relocate from states, relocate a job, sell a house to move to a new state to be with this person. That King of Wands is pointing to a map, and if you look closely, now it's a fake little map. I was gonna say if you look closely, maybe you can see which which uh, continent it's pointing at or which uh, location, but I think it's a fake drawing. So I'll leave it at that. But there is someone who's feeling very passionate and fiery, and when the King of Wands wants something, the King of Wands gets it, all right? So I see you move on, moving on to Kama Waters with the Six of Swords. So regardless if you accept this person in or you don't, you're moving on to a healing energy where you're gonna find balance and harmony because sixes represent balance and harmony. So let me get a couple clarity cards and I will let you go on your merry way. Please hit a like and subscribe and hit that like button because if you hit that like button, that video PSA that I did in the beginning of the reading will go to other people who need to hear it. We gotta stop people who are stealing from others and take advantage of vulnerable people, okay? You're not gonna mess with my babies. All right, so let me get a card on judgment. The sun, Leo energy, some clarity coming in with that judgment energy or some sort of happiness after waiting in a very stagnant period or a stagnant place with the hangman Pisces energy. Well, if that doesn't. And it's something unexpected with the wheel of fortune, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. I feel like this person coming back around is not even going to be expected. It's like, poof, this person calls you. Poof, this person shows up at your door. Poof, this person tells you they're getting on a plane to come to you. No longer you going to them. All right, there's something ex unexpected coming in and it's a, in a form of a text message or a phone call or a Snapchat or a whatever means of communication you and your person use with the page of wands. There could be an age difference here, but if not, no big deal, but there is some sort of exciting message coming in with the page of wands that's going to be unexpected with the Wheel of Fortune and light up your life with the sun after been, you've been waiting for a while with that hangman energy, okay? And as I said, after you've been waiting, the three of wands came up which is that energy of waiting. Look at you. Look at you, Saggy. You're like, <laughs> I'm just waiting for my person to come in. I know my person's here. They're coming. It's that energy. All right. And then as I said that, the Six of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, you've got someone returning. And if it's not, if it's just use your intuition. If you want this person back in your life, you know your story. You know how they have treated you. Use your own discretion. Use your own discerning abilities. You're a very intelligent Sagittarius. 99% of Sagittarius I've ever met had a good head on their shoulders. Use it. But also use your intuition, which is connected to your head. I am totally jacking that up. Never mind. And there's that Knight of Pentacles. Did you see how the Six of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles came out together early on in the reading? If you don't remember, rewind. The Six of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles came out together. I just pulled the Six of Cups down and the Six of 
uh, the Knight of Pentacles was underneath it. So again, I got the same message twice. Someone from your past is returning with a long overdue offer and it's genuine. I trust this person's offer. However, no matter how genuine this person is, no matter how good their intentions are, I'm definitely getting a confused energy off of them. So I feel like even though they mean well, this cycle could end up repeating itself if this person's not completely healed from whatever they keep on um, putting into your lap. They're giving you their burdens, okay? So there is going to be an energy of you guys confronting something and possibly moving on from it officially, all right? And there is some sort of dream coming true. So if it's your dream to have this person back in your life, you may get it. If it's your dream to move on from this person and then another new energy comes in, you may get it. All right, so if this resonated, the link to the extended will be down below where I'll get a little bit more nosy and dive deeper into your person situation. But if this is where I leave you, please hit like, subscribe, and share. And if you want to book a personal, the link is down below. And if you ever find a video that sounds kind of like my little, my quirky sayings and things like that, please report them. All right, Saggy, I love you. Bye.